I was, it took me a while to make this video because my heart was pumping so much this morning. So many things happened this morning. But the first thing happened, I had to pick my son up for, from work. And on the way home, it was a little girl walking down a two lane little street. It's not even little street. It's a it's the main street in my area. Can you imagine seven something in the morning and everybody is going to work or school, school buses, cars, zooming? And I don't know how my son seen her because we was going in a different direction. I didn't even see her. I didn't see her. That's how small she she was. And she was walking. And I was like, he was like, Mom, what you gonna do? And I said, the first thing we teach our kids is not to talk to strangers. I know everybody teaches their child that. Without a doubt, everybody teaches their child that. The second thing is, if I pull up on her, I'm a female, and my, when you open the door, you would see my son. So that is scary. I know it would be. How do you handle this situation? <clears throat> She's walking. The third thing that upset me, I flipped my lights on and off to a police officer that was going in the other direction, that was trying to get his attention to stop. So that didn't work. Okay, so what we decided was I was going to pull off on a road and wait till she got down that part. And I got out the car and I approached the little girl. I said, honey, why are you walk walking? Why are you walking? And she said, I missed the bus. And I said, well, you missed the bus? She had a phone. She said, and my mama told me if I missed the bus one more time, she was going to take my phone. What? You're trying to walk to school because mommy said you was going to lose the privilege of your phone? I said, honey, this is so dangerous. And she said, oh, my phone is down the street. I said, yes, but down the street is really down the street. And it's even longer if you're walking. If it takes me 10 minutes to get where she was going and I'm driving, imagine how far, how long it was going to take her walking. So I don't know what um, in 2024 that parents can say to their children to let them know, no matter what, call me. I, I might be upset, but call me, tell me something. Um, on the flip side, I know people think it's a big problem with the cell phones. On the flip side, I'm glad she had a phone. So if... Anything the mama would have been able to track her, I'm assuming. I, I'm assuming that you can track any phone. <sighs> so, it's 2024. You can't pull over and just put some bad kid in your car. Number one, what would you have done? Number two, I did call the school. To let them know that one of their students, one of their babies, one of our prized possession is walking in school because she didn't want to get her, tel her cell phone taken away. <sighs> Number three is my son concerned, I'm concerned. Um, what do you do? That's not even the icing on the cake. The icing on the cake, cake is, I knew it would take her about five minutes to get to the zone where I could meet her. Okay? I dropped my son off. I rushed back. She was gone. She was gone. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to think. I started calling the school. This is not my child. I did not think about asking the little girl her name. I didn't think about it. I could describe her, I could tell what she had on, what she looked like, everything. But I didn't think about that. I was so mad at myself. Um, I don't know what, um, I don't know what parents could say. Only thing I can tell you, I am so glad she's safe. 
I'm so glad. I know her her parents would be just devastated if they knew what she was trying to do. You know, she's a she's a baby. I know she thinks she's a big girl, but she's a baby. And my question to you is if she, the child missed the bus, I know that's going to be the biggest issue. Why is she missing the bus? Number one. Number two is, if you're at work, what can you do when she misses the bus? Number three is, we don't have no backup plan. We need a backup plan for when kids get into a situation like this. Who can they call? What, what can you do? Is there anybody in your neighborhood that can help you? It's a lot of questions. It's a lot of questions on what can you do, what can make it easier. Can you call the school? Do they have school buses that will come back out and get you? I don't know. Leave your comment. Tell me how you feel about um, what happened this morning. Number three is, what would you have done different? What would you have done different? Don't forget to like this video. Have a great day.